Lancashire. It is BBC Radio Lancashire. Now, we all have that one teacher that inspired us. Maybe uh, one that we remember being taught by in school. I, re- I suppose mine would be a guy called Jeff Ashworth, who, uh, who was kind of, he was head of year. And, and uh, I can't really tell you the story of <laughs> because it's not really appropriate for radio, but you all have one teacher that you remember. And as, lo- as long as I go through my life, I'll always remember the impact he had on me uh, as a student. And now a head teacher in Haysham has won a national award for his outstanding commitment to inspiring youngsters. Paul Slater works at Trumacar Nursery and Community Primary School, and he's just been to London for the Pearson National Teaching Awards. Let's speak to him now. Uh, good morning, congratulations on your silver award. You must be well chuffed. Good morning, yes I am. I'm over the moon to say the least. So, um, what did you think when you found out that you'd been nominated? I couldn't believe it. I mean, I I felt extremely humbled by by the whole process, to be honest, because I always view that you're just doing your day job, you're cracking on with it, you're hoping you make a difference, and then suddenly uh, it all went a bit mad. Now, um, uh, which, what's your role at Trim McCall? What what year, do do you have a specific year that you teach? No, I'm the head teacher. I'm, I'm a head teacher of two schools. Um, I've got one in, in Heesham, I've got Trumaca there, and then I've also got North Walney Primary School over in Barrow. All right, so you're, so you're, you're job sharing almost, double, jumping between sites a lot. So um, why, do you think, uh, why do you think you were nominated for your role at Trumaca? I think it's because of the in- amazing journey we've been on. We, when I started here, we were in special measures as a school, and the whole staff were on a, a very much a down, downward turn. They felt very low, very low staff morale. And over the last years, we've just turned all of that around. We've got the uh, parent body behind us. We've got the community behind us. We listen to the kids and the parents. And from that, we've got a plethora of awards um, for loads of different things. The school's grown from 250 kids to we're now 405. So. It's just been a tremendous journey, but it couldn't have happened without the staff, the governors, the parents, and the kids themselves. Yeah, I guess you don't you don't do it for the awards. You do it to to improve the chances that you give to the students that come through your school. But it must be quite satisfying, a to see you to see the awards, but actually b to see the the school's reputation growing to the point where the the number of children that you've got on roll increasing. That must be quite satisfying to you to look back at that. It's it's the best. Uh, accolade you can get. I mean, that, that's what we're seeing at the other school over in Cumbria now. And then, uh, as of next year, I'll be working alongside Queen Catherine School in Kendall and Walney School and George Haswell School as well, because uh, I'm taking over part time as the CEO for the Queen Catherine School Academy Trust as well. So it's just having that effect on as many different pupils is is marvellous. But to get this then has been sort of the icing on the cake. So t- tell me about the event in the Commons last week. What was that like? Um, it was it was quite surreal. We all turned up and, and went through the security. There were 74 of us who were going through with all partners and everything. And we were led straight through to the uh, veranda at the, that you see next to the Thames. And it was a champagne reception and people like Damien Hines and uh, Justin Greening turned up. So... It was just great to see so many head teachers and teachers and teaching assistants and FE leaders, all sorts of people being celebrated for doing their part in education. Because it is, it's a tough job. Just just finally, I'll give you an opportunity to to speak up for the teachers because it's easy for, for non-teachers to sometimes criticise the teaching profession. And actually, I mean, I, I, I've got members of my family that are teachers and I see firsthand the amount of work that they put in, in hours and out of hours, my word, they deserve the six weeks that they're just about to get. Um, <laughs> see, but genuinely, I, I see it. You know, I, how how hard is it being a teacher these days? Uh, I mean, it is hard, and I'm not saying it, it's not getting more difficult. I mean, money is becoming a difficulty for all schools now. Um, but I just simply love my job. I have done in all 26 years I've been doing this job, uh, and according to my mother, I wanted to be a teacher when I was about three. So this has been my life and I absolutely love just making that difference and I think if you go into this profession and love it, you will get so much out of it. Whether it's a hard day or not, it is totally rewarding. So it's great. 
Well, congratulations on picking up the silver award. I understand you're in the running for a gold award as now, so good luck. Good luck with that. Uh, that's uh, Paul Slater, who's the head teacher of Trumaca Primary School in Heesham uh, on BBC Radio Lancashire. Now.